In this video, we have an inexpensive solution for water filtration for your washout booth. Coming up. Hey, welcome back guys. Matt with Micah Designs here. We're by the washout booth and we're gonna show you that inexpensive water filtration system that I just kind of came up with. It will save you hundreds of dollars. Although, if you have the money, I would suggest getting a proper filtration system, but this works pretty well and sends semi-clean water down the drain. And here is our homemade water filtration system. Now, the gist of it is it's essentially a 27 gallon container or bucket and it has a just a plain old Home Depot bucket sitting in it with a AC filter sitting on top of that and there is a sump pump down inside this container. Now how this works is we just have some standard plumbing just your regular bathroom plumbing coming out we have it suspended with some tie straps and then it just drains down through this AC filter that filters all your big stuff out. And then the heavy sediment basically sinks to the bottom of this five gallon bucket. Now you might think, oh, once this starts overfilling, the bucket's gonna float up. No, it doesn't do that because the bucket here that catches the heavy sediment is fuller than this container all the time. So essentially, it comes down the drain through the AC filter. The AC filter catches all the heavy stuff. The heavy sediments, such as the, the emulsion and inks, will sink down to the bottom of the Lowe's bucket, capturing that, and the cleaner water just overflows and spills out down into the, the bigger container. And then as that fills up, there is a float inside the container and once that reaches a certain point i mean this thing gets pretty full you can see where i've had to adjust it a few times but once it gets up to about here it will kick on and then send out some of that filter water just straight down the drain and i'm going to demonstrate how that works so as you're using your washout booth the water just drains out goes through the filter and then it overflows on the side of the bucket. I'm going to speed this process up a little bit and fill this container up so you can kind of see the sump pump kick on and how quickly it just evacuates the water out of this container. Toss some clean water in here. Might need both hands for this, but maybe not. Fill this thing up and let the pump kick on. As you can see, it pretty much sucks this container dry pretty quickly. Also, something to note, I did have to adjust it a little bit by putting a little piece of foam underneath the float so it would kick on a little sooner because it was getting pretty close to getting full before it, it kicks on but it gets probably about an inch and a half two inches to the top before it does kick on but you know i think it's a pretty cool little solution to building your own filtration system and not having to spend hundreds maybe even a thousand dollars for a water filtration system and this is one of our old buckets that used to catch our water that came out the washout booth and you can see what I'm talking about as far as it catching the heavy sediment. This is just a 99 cent El Cheapo AC filter which I need to change out obviously when we've been putting it through its paces. Here is the AC filter out. It's time for me to replace it. I've put this thing to use for probably a, a good month, month and a half since we opened up the shop and uh, man, you can see all the nasty sediment and everything that this thing has caught. It looks like a dirty diaper, to be honest. And the great thing about this, instead of all this sediment coating your, 
your drainage pipes that just sticks to this AC filter. And for the most part, you can see that the filter has caught a lot of that sediment and the water that is pouring into the, the container that eventually pumps the water out is it's, it's fairly clean for screen printing, water, emulsion, ink, all that crap that goes in here. So it's doing its job. And here's a close up of the kind of little float and how we kind of rigged it up a little bit so that way it kicks on a little sooner. This thing goes up, kicks on, and gets rid of the water pretty quickly. Well, that's about it guys. That's how I kind of made a simple do-it-yourself water filtration system. And I hope this was helpful. Also keep in mind that there are filtration systems that are up for sale at Caspit Screen Print Supply. We're an official rep, so use our promo code. You'll get a $1 discount off your purchase. You'll kick a little commission our way. If you find that it's a little out of your price range, check out the links in our description. We'll have links to the products that we did use to create this kind of makeshift filtration system, but it works pretty great. And I'm pretty proud of how it works out. <laughs> As always, thanks for tuning in guys. I really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down in the comment section. Check out our description for our promo codes and links to some of the products featured in this video. Until next time guys, we'll see you later. Keeping the screen printing on the cheap.